Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. As you can see here, I have the Roswell tank unlocked with my Malibu Stephen Commander. So I put the Malibu Stephen Commander back into the Roswell because I was using him as I was operating my weasel because he has killer phrases. One of the killer phrases he has is armor penetrated ready for probe with the obvious double entendre of probing well you fill in the blanks Giggity. so great commander gonna be a lot of fun with this tank in Halloween mode let me tell you that but I've set it up and put the things in there to get it ready for regular combat if that's you know what comes up I don't really plan to use it because it's a tier 8 tank and I just don't like to waste my time going in tier 8s because you just get cheated most of the time and it's just not fun so if you're in a tier 8 tank and you're fighting tier 9s that's not fun it's not fair if you're fighting a tier 10 in a tier 8 it's even less fun and even less fair. So you figure it out for yourself. Me, I'm just a normal guy. I've done all the reasonable things I need to do in tier eight tanks. I don't waste my time. But I don't want this for tier eight. I want this for Halloween. So that's completely different. Halloween mode is just free for all special because here's the reason why Halloween mode is so great is because you have superpowers. Each tank has different superpowers than the others. And every tank is rated as a tier nine tank. So dun, 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 the best thing they have is tanks all of one tier. So your tier eight tank is a tier nine. Your tier six Kaiju, for example, Japanese heavy tank is a tier nine. The tier seven, I believe, Kraft's Panther tank is dun, 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 a tier nine. That's the beauty of it. It's all even, whatever happens, happens. It's all fun, and it's the most fair version of the game you're ever gonna play. So, this is why Halloween is so exciting for about three weeks. You get like one week of, you know, pre-Halloween, you get access to the maps in the Halloween mode, and then you have two weeks of hardcore Halloween superpower tanks jackpot for us. So, let me go show you what I have put up in this tank as far as equipment is concerned, and we'll go from there. So, roll into the equipment. Here, it was relatively easy to choose. Unfortunately, there's no zoom for this sniper tank, so it became really simple. It became you know, the reload, the fan to accelerate the reload, the camouflage net to accelerate the camouflage. This also affects the camouflage rating as well. And the enhanced targeting, I left that on there because in sniper mode, Bernie Vision speaks for itself. That's what we call it. He's the biggest advocate for this. And once we figured out how to use it, Bernie Vision is what it's called and it's how we refer to it because we learned it from our friend Fat Little Bernie. All right. So he was fantastic in that regard. Obvious basic stuff. Stock, gold repair, enhanced rations, and I say always start really with gold uh, first aid. If you don't use it very much, maybe switch it to white. If you really want to be you know gutsy you can go with gasoline or whatever floats your boat uh, besides the first aid on the ammo I just went 50 50 on these regular and premiums and then at 10 of the heat rounds I think it's heat rounds anyway so there you go seemed like a good idea at the time on the camo well let me go here camo Oh, well, there's the armor. So as you can see, the armor is pretty darn good. From the front, 
That's nasty. That's what Cleveland would say. Right, Cleveland? You know it, Duke. Okay, so there's Cleveland right there. So, pretty nasty stuff. Now I go back to the um, camouflage. You can't do anything to the customization of the look of the tank. It has the U.S. Air Force Area 51 Roswell um, look to it with the, you know, addition of alien hybrid technology, essentially. So it's just transparent camouflage for each one of those. I had a whole bunch of camouflage vouchers, so bing, bang, boom, done. I added that camo, no problem. So killer looking tank. I haven't decided what I'm going to put in my final of my eight skill slots, so I just left it blank, and I'll get to it later during Halloween, see what's going to go on and, and what we'll do. But it was a toughy to get the contract finished. As you can see here, there we go, contract. Oh, sorry. There we go. That was the butt kicker. And this dude took a while because I decided I would do it in Cold War rather than World War II. I just don't feel like playing eights and above. It was ridiculous. So I was using Weasel uh, with some, you know, rack pens or two. And also I used NM116 uh, sniper tank. Just, you know, keep it interesting, fair, whatever. I didn't use my um, rock crawler because it's just a little too slow and over time it was you know going to retard the progress so the rack panzer was much faster tank as far as the shooting and what have you so I felt like it, would, it had a better damage per minute essentially potential because the rock crawler is very plodding and methodical fun tank to play in a game here or there but you don't want to run 10 20 games of that it just isn't that great so I did Cold War on the last two stages because it was a lot more fun that way. Actually, really, for most of it, beyond that, you know, stage six, getting the commander, Steven, etc. So the Steven, I'm telling you, is just fantastic when you get him. And you might want to try him in a premium tank that you use a lot, just so you can hear the hilarious things he says. Of all the planets I have conquered, yours is my favorite. Or this is my favorite, one of those two. But it's a really good line. And that's the thing. He has that kind of wienery, uh, alien voice, very kind of timid, with a tinge of foreboding threat. So if you haven't gotten the Steven yet, when you get it, it's killer. If you stick it in the premium tank that you're going to use, you can always bump him out by putting another commander in his place. And a premium commander will pop out of that tank without corruption. Meaning if you put him in a tech tree tank, he's always going to put the tech tree name. You'll be stuck with that nation. You'll have to pay to change it. Since I put him in the weasel, as a, which is a premium tank, I just bumped him out with another commander. He went back to unassigned like this. These guys here. These are all unassigned. I can stick these in any premium tank I want and then just bump them out and they'll come right out of there unassigned. Now, if you have other commanders that once they get into, like look at this for example. See this vehicle assignment? It says none. Now, she's been in vehicles, but her assignment says none. Let me show you something here. For example, one of my American tanks, like where is this one? Artilleries, for example, will be a great example of the effect I'm talking about here. Not equalizer, that's a premium. I need a non-premium artillery. Where is my... There we, uh, that's a premium. Karunsky. Wait a second. I don't know. It's like I'm blind or something. Fury is a premium. Ripper is a premium. I got a problem. I got a lot of premium tanks here. Where is the... That's a premium. That's a premium. Krudsky. 
to you, those are all premiums. What is the deal? I know I got somebody in here that's not. There we go, right here. Finally, it took me forever. So here you see the vehicle assignment. Now, she's USA, and she's assigned to the M12 artillery. If I wanted to change her from one nation to a different nation, it would cost me 60 gold, and I'm not doing that. So I only put people in tech tree tanks, like artillery, for example, that are not going anywhere. They're, they're there. That's where they're going to stay. Like my... Thresher, for example, the me the mercenary tanks are like that. So we go back over here and choose mercenary. These tanks with commanders in them will all have what I call corruption. That's a premium. The ones with the gold lettering are premiums. The ones without it, like for example, this one. The Tusk. This is a non-premium tank, so this commander... He is corrupted. All right, let's try this again. There we go. So, we go look at him. There it says mercenary and tusk on the nation and also the trained, trained tank. I'd have to change. I'd have to pay 60 gold to change this. It's not happening. So, this guy stays in the tusk. That's just the way it is. No big deal. So, Commanders like the Steven. Go back to this real quick. Bang. So commanders of the premium tanks like the Steven. He's in a premium tank. I can move him at will to any nation if I want to. Like I used him for my weasel, which is a blue nation Cold War tank. And then when I got the tank... Took care of it, swapped him out over here to the to America, and that's what you see. So, hopefully, you guys are doing well on your progression. If you have the tanks and have multiple different ones, always remember that you can do. What do you call it? Um, daily doubles. So this is tank destroyers and heavy tanks. Do. You do your, whichever one you're using, tank destroyers or heavy tanks, you do your daily doubles because you're going to get double tank XP, which credits double towards your stages of your contract. Brownie was even told me he tested tank XP boosters. He used a times five booster on one of his tanks and got the full credit. I was like, I did it myself after he told me, I go, wow, that, that works great. So you can do that as well if you want to accelerate it because it is kind of long and everybody has different tolerances for this kind of stuff. So that will help you perhaps as well on your quest to complete this contract before it expires. I mean, the beautiful thing is we have plenty of time to get it. Uh, how many days are left on this contract? I forgot. So I'll just go check straight up here. Roswell, 25 days left, so you got no problem. If you have seen this and have been working on it, shouldn't be that big of a deal, but I would suggest getting on it, completing it, and taking care of business so you can, you know, do something else, whatever floats your boat. So I guess that's pretty much the coverage of this tank. Like I said, I mean, I'm looking forward to using this because I know what it does. One of the things that happened to us last year, and I don't remember if it was Hayden or Bernie, but both of them had this tank, and one of them zapped a guy, and it hit him with that green light uh, teleporter, what teleporter, but it lifted, it lifted the tank up, got it in the air, but it was over a bridge, and when it dropped the tank, the tank dropped, hit the bridge, flipped, and blew up, fantastic kill, just by using the superpower. So this is the thing, the superpowers of Halloween mode is fantastic. Now you find Halloween mode in the future if you have not played Halloween mode in the past somehow. When you go back to the main board like this, there's Cold War, there's World War II. Now right now you have the Mars mode is going on, but down here in position 5, 
you'll find the Halloween mode during the two weeks of Halloween time. So that's just fantastic stuff right there. So that pretty much covers everything you need to know within, you know, the general uh, stuff about the Roswell tank and the Stephen Commander. So hopefully you enjoy it. Hope I mean, I know it's going to be great in Halloween. If you got any questions about Halloween, by all means, leave me a, uh, a comment because I'll help you explain this. I'm going to make a video at some point showing you the Halloween tanks that we have so you can get an idea. It's going to be super fantastic. And, you know, one of my friends, Iron Knight, he never played Halloween mode because he didn't have any friends that played this game. And so by yourself, it's okay. But if you have people to play with, especially those guys that you know and have played with, oh man, it's so awesome. Now we are lucky on top of that is that we had not only the guys that I've talked about before, but we had the mind's eye view perspective from Brownie and Hayden as 12 year old kids. They're awesome. They are really into it and they have the drift. They have the ain't they understand the angle and the appeal better than anybody else and they transferred it to us and man it was just fantastic. It was couldn't have been better than playing Halloween with them last year and we're gonna do it again this year. It's gonna be awesome. So hopefully you guys can get in on that. And like I said, if you have any questions about the Halloween stuff upcoming, let me know. I'll be glad to help you out. It's great stuff, super fun. And we're looking forward to it a lot. And I hope you will too. So I hope you have uh, enjoyed this. Tell your friends. Let them see it. Maybe they can, you know, understand what's going on here if they don't understand already. Um, good to see you guys here. Looking forward to uh, seeing you guys in the future. Check out my other videos, of course. I got some other killer stuff, especially, of course, classic shorties. So that pretty much covers everything there. And, well... I guess the only thing left to say is this, like and subscribe.